I know, I know, January is over and you guys did not get the last video that I promised, which was my self-care medicine bag, what's inside it. So even though it's February, I'm gonna film it anyways. And this will be kind of a ending January and a welcoming and invitation to come with me into February as I embark on marriage and relationship themed videos and content and yummy stuff. So this is my self-care medicine bag. And as you can see, it is literally stuffed to the brim with stuff. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you what's inside. There are a ton of different things in here. Some of them are specific to self-care. Others are specific to health and how I take care of my body. The container that I use, this little zipper pouch, is very special to me. My sister made it for me and I'm just, I love it. I love carrying homemade things. I just, I feel like the things that were picked out or created specifically for a person, it just holds so much intention within it and thoughts and prayers. And, and so this is what I carry. I carry this in my purse everywhere I go. So I just grabbed it. My purse is on the stairs and I grabbed it out and came up here exactly how it is. I have not organized it. I just got back from a trip to Florida. Um, a road trip my husband and I took with another couple and I did use this. You can even ask his friend who after eating all you can eat crab legs needed some floss and guess who had it in her self-care medicine bag. Yeah, this woman right here. All right, so um, it's messy, but we are gonna dive inside right away. And I'm just gonna pull things out and show you. First, you probably could see, I have this Honest Company, the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. And this is orange with aloe. I have a hard time using a lot of other antiseptic type sprays because I have very dry skin and this one is amazing. I mean you just spray it, I do both front and back on one hand and then I just wipe it around and it smells like an orange sickle. It is really freaking amazing. And so I have that both for the orange, I don't know if this is going to focus, for the orange that to me is very much a energy booster but also as a sanitizer. So that's the first thing I see. Second thing is a leave. Um, this I actually bought in Florida because I, one of the mornings I only had a half a cup of coffee and ended up getting a very bad headache. But the coffee grounds somehow got in my cup and it was just not very yummy, so. And some of you know I'm allergic to Advil. Um, I end up, I had chronic hives for a very long time because of Advil, and this is the only thing I can take this and Tylenol. So I have that in here. Next, I'm just pulling things out. I have tea, which I did not use in Florida, but I carry them with me. This is Kava Stress Relief, the Yogi uh, tea. It eases tension and promotes relaxation. It's really great for some self-care. And then I also have Cup of Calm by Traditional Medicinals. Organic Cup of Calm. I really like this one. Band-Aids. You never know when you're going to need them. So I keep some of those in here. I do have three children and my son is 11 and quite often needs a Band-Aid. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm hot. Alright, take that off. Okay. I have Vaseline Lip Therapy, awesome to have, in my self-care bag. This is called Lavella. You can actually look it up. I think you can find it on Amazon. I order this through my naturopath. 
um, but it is pure lavender oil in pill form and what this does is it's basically a natural stress relief or anxiety I take it for anxiety so if I know I'm gonna be in an anxious situation I will pop one of these babies and it does make me sleepy that's the only thing I don't like about it but it works great otherwise all right, and then I have oils. You guys know I like my oils. I've got a few of them in here, so I'm just gonna pull out all the oils and show you. Okay, these are these are my oils. First, we have clove and lime, and this is for migraines, or this I use them for migraines. I actually, wow, I'm about out, so I might need to order some more of that. Um, I love, this is my favorite brand, and it is Native American, Native American Nutritionals, right? Native American Nutritionals. I ordered it online. They're an amazing company. I've talked with the owner and very family friendly, very like if you have any issues with your order, they have cleared them up. I only had one order that I had an issue with and um, they were amazing to actually work with. So this I use for migraines. If I'm in a car, for instance, like that coffee, the reason I actually took it to leave is because I was in the, wish I could have done this, but um, this is a very strong to the nose oil. And so I didn't wanna, you know, in a small car with four people, didn't wanna end up having the entire car smell like clove and lime. This, I carry this one, this is Peace and Harmony, and I actually, carry it in this bag but I also have a roller ball of it that stays in my purse too and so I'll just roll some on my wrists and behind my ears and this is for once again I, I use it like it's um, kind of an anxiety um, if I start to feel stressed or anxious I'll roll some of that on and it is I love the smell of it I would totally wear this as a perfume if it lasted oh, so it is, and I got this this from Whole Foods. This is a Whole Foods brand. Peppermint, patchouli, orange, lavender, and basil. It's a minty floral herb, is the aroma. The benefits are centering, calming, and balancing. A favorite. And I actually am about half a bottle. Then I have my own little vial, which doesn't have much in there of lavender that I carry with me and this is specific for boo-boos with children. Um, I do not use Neosporin. I use lavender to cleanse wounds but also as it has replaced our Neosporin, this with coconut oil. I don't carry coconut oil with me but um, this is actually the doTERRA lavender and my children, it works fine on my children directly. Like I'll just put a little bit on their cut and bruise cuts or bruises and then apply a band-aid so that's in there for that I carry on guard and I use this specifically for if I am at any anybody's house and children tend to start coughing whether it's mine or someone else's I immediately dab some of this on me and then in the car we'll be putting this on my children because this is supposed to help with protecting it's a protective blend from sicknesses so if we've been around someone that or I hear that one of their friends that they played with has the flu this will be going on their feet at night and um, as a protective blend to keep them from getting it I also carry this this is a migraine stick it's called migraine stick and honestly the reason I picked this up was because I wanted the container be this is, what is this, peppermint? Peppermint and lavender is what's in this. And it's a little roller ball. So if I have the headache, I'll roll it behind my ears um, or on my temples. But honestly, clove and lime works better. So I bought this to finish out what was in here and my plan is to put clove and lime in here so I don't have to carry both of these. I can actually just carry this with my clove and lime because clove and lime is that good. All right, next I have Tiger Balm. And originally I picked this up because online someone recommended it for uh, anxious flyers because I am an anxious 
flyer. I do not like to fly. Not because I'm afraid of the plane or how it feels to fly, because I really don't mind that, but really it's more about being stuck in a small space. And so I bought this because you could smell it and just the oils, all right, the oils, the main oils are camphor, menthol, eucalyptus, and clove. And it just automatically like has this peaceful smell to it. So I bought it for that, but it didn't come in in time. And I have used it. I mean, you can, I don't know if it's actually gonna focus, but I've used a good bit of it because if you get like a kink in your neck or you have a sore muscle, you put this on it and it it is amazing how quickly this goes to work. It's, it's amazing. And so I carry it with me now for relief of muscular aches and pains, swelling, inflammation, um, insect bites. It's great. You can also, I think you can get this at Whole Foods. I've seen, they have an extra strength one and I know you can get that there, but this is the regular one. Mine I ordered from Japan, but you might be able to get it from, from Whole Foods. I'm not exactly sure. All right. This you can get from Whole Foods. That is where I got it. It is the Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call in the middle of videoing. Whoops, okay. Rescue Remedy Spray, I get it at Whole Foods. It's not gonna focus. Um, Bach. There we go, kind of. Rescue Remedy Spray, this stuff is good. I Honestly, I don't really know how well it works. I've used it a couple times and I don't, I've not noticed a big difference. So I can't vouch for this, but it's, it's pretty simple. Like if you start to feel stressed or anxious, you spray it like in the back of your throat and it doesn't taste very good or I would spray it right now or I don't think it tastes very good. And it's a blend of, um, flower essences. So yeah, but I don't know. I feel like the oils work better for me. Okay, and we have the floss, the famous floss I was telling you about that came in handy in Florida after eating crab legs. There's a Benadryl because I did have chronic hives for two years and I only carry, it's funny because I used to have this full of Benadryl and right now there's only one, only one in there because, oh, and there's more Lavella. I the angel okay I've carried this for a very long time for years and years and it's not always been in here but I always have it in whatever purse I take and this angel I actually stole <laughs> um, at my grandfather's funeral there was just something about it and I knew I think inside I knew that I had stuff that I had not dealt with in regards to my relationship with my grandfather and when he passed away, everyone got to take a flower arrangement with them. And so I guess I didn't really steal it, but my flower arrangement was sitting next to someone else's and this was sitting like a stem stuck in their flower arrangement. And it was my first real rebel act. I knew that I had to have the angel and that it was meant to be mine. And so I picked it up and stuck it in my flower arrangement and brought it home. So since then, which it's probably been, let's see, 10 years, I have moved this from bag to bag and now it stays in my self-care bag. There's just something about it. I can't even tell you what it is, but um, I just carry it with me. All right, now we get to the some of my favorite self-care stuff. And I actually think I have the big bag. These are called tummy drops. And I think I actually do. Let's see if I can reach them. Yes. All right. These are, I keep them underneath my bed. There's a little drawer. Okay. I mean, you can look, let me show you this. All right. All of the, this, there are tummy drops. And then I also have a cough drop mixed in there too. These Ricola cough drops. I carry them not because they're cough drops, although when I have a cough, they work fine too. But I carry them because they do have some natural oils and things, and I feel like they work very similarly to the tummy drops. 
where if I'm feeling anxious or I'm feeling queasy in my stomach, if I pop one of these babies in my mouth, there's just almost this instant calm. So I will probably, I'll probably repurchase because I'm like, I'm about out of all these, these tummy drops. I will probably repurchase them, but they are expensive. These are a lot cheaper. So I only recently started testing out the theory of using these and it works really well. So I may actually move to just using these, but I don't know because I do love these a lot. Okay, so there are two types. Okay, as you can see, there are green ones and orange ones. And I got them both because I wasn't sure. When I read reviews online, some people said that these, which are the ginger ones, were really spicy and too spicy for them. So then they recommended the peppermint. So I got them both. And ladies, these are amazing. Um... In regards to, actually I'm gonna read you the ingredients because they are all natural. In regards to most of the people that actually, most of the people that use them are pregnant women who struggle with nausea and morning sickness. And so a lot of the reviews were from pregnant women. There were a couple people who used them on a plane and that's how I found these is I, I Googled tools for, for anxious flyers or something like that and came across these and these are these were the ones that they actually recommended these ginger ones and they say as soon as you start to feel a little nauseous or anxious because I used them more for anxiety because I don't I don't get morning sick not morning sickness that's not the right word I don't get motion sickness so I didn't get these for motion sickness, I got these for anxiety because my anxiety does upset my stomach. If I start to feel anxious um, or stressed, my stomach immediately is the first thing that starts being affected. And so these are the ginger, they're gluten-free. They assist with stomach upset, motion sickness, nausea, and morning sickness. And these are the natural ginger ones. And then I also have the natural peppermint. These assist with cramps and bloating, urgency, stomach upset, and nausea. So, and I, I bought these online. I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. I'm trying to find a website, but I don't see one. Uh, let's see here. You can find them on Twitter at Tummy Drops and Facebook and Instagram. But yes, these come in very handy whether you're in a car and you're driving and you start to feel a little nauseous or whether you're at a party and start to get anxious just pop one of these in my mouth and immediately all of that goes away it's like a natural anxiety pill for me um, specifically related to my nauseous uh, symptoms <clears throat> but like I said try the Ricola cough drops you can get these at any Target or Walmart or CVS and they worked pretty good for me too. I don't know that I'm ready to give up my tummy drops because I do think that they, especially the ginger, I don't know if it's because of the spiciness, they kind of like zing you out of your own head and into the moment instead of the fear that pushes you ahead in the future. So yeah, so that's my self-care medicine bag. All right, so there you have it i just took you inside my self-care medicine bag let me know what you think let me know if you've tried any of these or the things that you would recommend or that you think i should add to my bag if there are certain things that have worked for you lastly i wanted to mention the magic of a highlighter okay this is one of the best not necessarily self-love, but the best tools for anxiety that I have found, whether it be on an airplane, in a car, whatever. Usually, it's better for traveling, not necessarily like you're in the middle of a party holding a highlighter. That's not going to work very well. But this baby is magic. Okay, and let me tell you why. I like to read while I travel. So I'm reading while I'm on the plane or I'm reading while I'm on a road trip. 
and I highlight. So I have a highlighter or a pen because I like to journal, as you guys know. A pen works just the same way. And what you do is when you start to feel nauseous, put a tummy drop in your mouth, okay? But those usually take a little bit just, you know, till you get the flavor to get you out of your head. Another thing you can do if you've already got one in your mouth or if you don't feel like ginger or peppermint or a cough drop at that moment, take your highlighter and just tap. Don't tap hard, like it's not, it's not to cause pain, but for me, you know, a little pressure. Like if you look, you can see that I, it's, there's like a little indent right there and you're just tapping. You're just calmly tapping and what this does is the same thing the spicy ginger does is it's taking you away from your fear and away from your head the head games that's going on in your head and bringing you back into the moment and so you feel that pressure on your thumb and you're it, it's almost like a meditative type thing too for me so that helped get me through my trip to Vegas that helps helped with my road trip in Florida just simply you know and you can do it in your lap when nobody's really noticing or underneath a um, sweater and it's so simple that it's not really you know some people click that would become irritating to people in the car or on the plane so literally it's just a you can even hold it you know just some pressure right there and I'm not hurting myself like that does not hurt it's just a pressure point I know people that do tapping you know they'll and that's supposed to be great for anxiety too you do tapping but I'm just not that doesn't work very well for me I I don't know this is the pressure points and the reflexology that t that type of um, healing works a lot better for me so there's my little tips for self-care, specifically related to highly sensitive people and anxiety. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to welcoming February and talking all things marriage and relationships and all that goodness, including friendships and marriage relationships and love and passion and sex and all those awesome things. So welcome to February.